Welcome to a beautiful sunny day at Val Wyatt Marine on the Thames. Today I want to show you a Haynes 32 sedan that we have on brokerage. It's a 2019 model with a really high spec. Uh, I'm going to get straight on with the video and show you around. So there she is. Um, I can show you a little bit more of the detailing once we get up on board. Uh, you've got a navy blue hull uh, finished with this boat. Lovely matching uh, navy canopies at the rear. One of the extras that's great for the river um, uh, is that this, whoever had this boat spec when you, it's the current owner actually, uh, they paid to have the side rails extended as you have with the offshore model. So it's a really safe boat to move around. A 32 stand does have nice wide side decks anyway, um, but with those extended rails and the rails on the side of the cabin, it's a really safe and comfortable boat to move around. Now we're obviously, uh, the boat's out on the hard standing, but it's, it's just an easy way to demonstrate one of the joys of a 32 sedan or, or any sedan boat in a way. Uh, um, is if you're stern to moored um, with pontoon access, it's ever such an easy boat to get to, to get onto and move around. So just an easy step over. I'm coming off the ladders uh, onto the swim platform, which is a nice wide swim platform. Then you have this transom gate. Um, there's a very small step up there, but ever so easy. And then that brings you through into this aft deck. As with all 32 sedans, um, this boat features a slide and stack doors at the rear here. So if you've got the weather for it, um, you can have one side open. I can show you that in a moment, or you can have the whole thing open and you end up with a very much an inside outside feel. And if you're in the boat, a cranking view out, which I'll attempt to show you now. So we'll just step in for a moment um, and look back out at that area where I've come in through. Um, this seat back is flippable, so you can just pop that over. Um, and in a moment, I'm gonna show you how we can set that up as a dining area. So just by moving the saloon table outside, that changes that whole area. It could be just the two of you sat there having a coffee um, and looking out with a view. Alternatively, if you've got guests on board, you can all sit all the way around that by bringing out this footstool as well. So that is a, is a great area. And when you're inside the boat, um, that is your overall view. Uh, if you have got lots of friends on board, galley's just down there i'm going to show you that in more detail in a second um, and one of the extras added to this boat is a nice touch for when you're entertaining up in the saloon here you've got an additional draw fridge for your drinks so for the first part of that video where i was showing you around um, i had the blinds up uh, all the way around but just dropped down the blinds on one side just to show you that uh, if you want a bit of privacy or you want the shade, there are Venetian blinds on both sides of the boat. You can have those as they are now to give you a little bit of privacy or drop them right down and close them to completely black out. Um, equally, uh, there is a windscreen cover, which I've got off at the moment for the video to let the light in. So if you're in a full sort of uh, somebody sleeping up here or you want to keep all the sunlight out, you can have blinds closed, windscreen cover on. And then this upper um, double window uh, has a blackout blind on it as well that way and coming across the other way it has what you might expect it has a fly screen so the forward while we're on it the forward um, sunroof uh, opens um, so you can get some fresh air in there air in there that's standard on this boat but additional spec on this boat it's had this secondary glazing unit added to give you some natural light uh, that is an extra on this boat some other things I might not have covered off already. It, this boat um, has a few nice details on it. This uh, stitched seat back was an extra and it's got the uh, leather, ultra leather upgrade on it. Over in the corner here, if you've got a group of friends around, there is a cocktail cabinet there, you can keep your drinks. Um, power supply and you've got USB in there as well because this boat has an inverter. Control panel for that is there. So it's a combined inverter and battery charger. As you come in through that door, I've already shown you the fridge. You've got drawer storage down there and then coming around on the rest of the port side, you've got all your breakers in there and your battery master switches. Great helm, uh, just when I say great helm, I mean in terms of layout, you get a really good driving position with really good visibility on there. Single uh, control, uh, you've got combined uh, bow and stern thrusters on this boat. It's fitted with a Garmin speed and depth. She's also got a rudder indicator and your other gauges as, as you may expect. There is a outlet there, blower from your heating system. So if you're out in the winter um, or in very damp weather, and it's a bit steamy, that'll blow up some warm air onto the windscreen and control for the heating system is there. So I'll drop you down into the galley, just a couple of steps down. Uh, extra spec on this boat is a microwave, which is quite nice fitted in up there. 
you've got a three burner hob, which to me looks unused. Equally, the oven is definitely unused. Um, upgraded stainless steel fridge with freezer compartment there. Uh, the other cupboards, that storage over on that side. Storage below your oven. You've got some eye level storage up here. Quite nice detailing there with all the plate racks in there. And a little bit more storage up top for your mugs and so on. Uh, fire blanket and fire extinguisher. And the final aspect of the galley, a couple of little bits and bobs there. There's some storage and access to the weed filter in that step. Uh, and then going down in the floor, you've got access to the bilge, which I find sometimes people, um, if they're careful, uh, you can use that for a little bit of storage. If you're on a long cruising trip, uh, you keep some drinks down there, carefully packaged so they don't move around or through the edge and that sort of thing. Toilet compartment on a Haynes is always really high spec. You've got a nice overnight um, solid work up on there. Shower is over your, um, it's a wet room basically, so you've got the shower tray there. Electric flush loo um, with your flush on there and you've got the waste gauge tank there as well. So finally moving forward into your cabin. You've got a really nice island berth there. And I, again, I don't believe that the berth has ever been used on this boat. Really nice spec and detail. It's got a really nice contemporary look to it, this boat with the fabrics that they chose. Uh, storage wise, you have a cupboard each side, which has got hanging rail in it. That cushion there uh, goes into the saloon if you want to convert the settee into a double berth occasionally. And then over on the other side, you've got the other one with the same. Uh, the only other thing really to point out, and here you've got reading lights both sides, sorry, a lot of light coming on, coming in. Um, double skylights there with ventilation and the same fly screen and back out. Um, there is a TV point in here and power points. Engine access is very easy on this boat. Obviously, I already showed you the wheel, weed filter in the galley steps, but it's only one panel to remove for your engine access to check your oils and just you know inspect down the bilge. You can see you've got your auto fire extinguisher in down there, but I just wanted to show, I mean, the other thing I wanted to show really being a very new boat is just how immaculate that engine and bilge is. Just taking a quick moment to set up that saloon berth. You can see with those two infills that we were stored away um, up in the fore cabin, it's a very, very simple process. That base, you just literally slide it forward uh, and that stainless steel support bar is clipped up underneath. You just slide that forward, drop the support bar down, pop the two cushions in, then you suddenly got that really usable space for the saloon for occasional guests. So uh, heading towards the end of the video and getting around as quick as I can, I wanted to talk quickly about storage, which I feel these boats offer a phenomenal amount of. So up in the saloon, I haven't showed you, under that uh, settee and bed I've just showed you, you've got two big storage drawers there. There's a storage drawer in that um, side stall. Um, storage over on this sideboard I've shown you. But one of the really big benefits for this boat for longer cruising is the size of the lazarette. So obviously the engine is forward. So when we come to this aft deck, and that lazarette, it is absolutely huge. So if you were away and you want inflatable kayaks on board, paddle boards, um, outdoor seating, all that kind of thing, there is tons of room in there. We've got all the fenders for this boat in there at the moment, um, which is no main feat because there's a lot of fenders. Um, and it is hard to show you, but it goes right across under both sides um, and really, and it's easy access to, there's a step down to get in there. So phenomenal amount of storage. Just shut that lid down to complement that. Um, up under this aft seating, you've got a deep storage locker there. Great for your spare ropes, mooring spikes, and your cleaning stuff. Gas locker on that side. Uh, and then either side of this area, you've got these uh, wing locker storage areas as well. So if you have something like a collapsible broom or hoover, that goes in there. The boat hook itself is separate, just tucked away behind the slide and stack doors. Quick mention, although it's in the photographs on our listing, uh, just wanted to show you down the side deck of this boat because from the factory she was upgraded um, with the synthetic teak decks, which looks really nice and contrasts nicely with the Navy hull. So that brings us to the end of my walkthrough of this Haynes 32 sedan. Uh, do get hold of us if you want to come and see it um, in person because it's a beautiful boat and with lead times as long as they are, it gives you a rare opportunity to get out on the water straight away. Thanks for watching.